So I wanna show you how to power level your alt. I just, so I made a quick little summary here to break it down. I get all the unique knowledge and I have a little picture of a little uh, tool called, called, I think, Weekly Knowledge. And it shows you all the unique and all of the weekly quests you can do. Uh, as of right now, if you are behind, they do have these new flicker that you can do to be able to get extra uh, inscription knowledge, tailoring, uh, fishing, whatever that profession, if you are behind, they wanna catch people up. The crafting gear is gonna help get just the green crafting gear. And let me go over the green crafting gear. You don't need to buy the best kind, to be honest. You're only trying to get those five extra uh, inscription points or enchanting points or tailoring points, what are, fishing points, whatever it is to get those extra points. So I pretty much did all my unique ones and used my all my uh, crudy these things, uh, artisan crudies to buy the 10 points of knowledge to really push my skill up because I it, it is really hard to get past that 50 mark in uh, professions. So what I'm using is I'm going to be using tailoring to boost up my inscription and that's I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this. So with every craft, you get a crudity and you're able to use that to uh, buy from this vendor. Uh, a one-time knowledge, essentially, for 200, 300, and 400. So let me show you where that guy is. Um, but I'm using that to boost uh, these up. So as you can see, 200, 300, 400. So I'm gonna be boosting uh, my inscription on the one through 50 guide for any crafting guide. There's a bunch of them. I think wow professions is another one's wow hyphen professions. Uh, very, very easy. Then you're going to use the patrons, uh, or the whisper and tell way because of right now I cannot mill. Uh, so if we go to milling, I cannot mill, uh, to tier two with tier two. So I need to, it was down down here and I'll show you that now. So if you look at my character right now, uh, to mill 10 micro bloom still uh, gives me tier one quality uh, gear or reagents. So I do need to get my skill up to a mill higher and I need to put a little bit more into that specialty. So I got it up 17 points and as you can see, it's a little higher now. Um, I can get it up a little bit higher, so I'm gonna show you guys that now. So at this point, I like to message all the people that are doing these. That way, I know I'm gonna get a skill point and I don't need to spend gold. All right, so I was able to craft enough public ones, so just messaging these people and saying, hey, I'm able to craft these uh, to get my milling to the uh, tier that I need, which is perfect because now I can do higher level uh, inks, especially since uh, they might be going for a little bit more. Also, um, I can start looking at these patron orders for appreciation ink, uh, for some of these mistives, for knowledge. So that's gonna help out a lot with crafting without having to use any concentration. So uh, essentially go to your crafting orders and they'll be public type push search and you'll see all the uh, public ones. Make sure that you actually are able to craft what you're able, uh, what they have, because you might not have set up your favorites. Uh, I'm not gonna go into that. You have to do your own navigation on that. But from there, uh, you are going to message them and be like, hey, I can do that. Send it to me personally. And then you'll be able to get yours up to uh, about 50 to 75 and then about from 75 to 100 is when you'll start making money. So uh, end of this guide of like the the inscription guide that you craft a uh, Vantis ruin. Now you're going to uh, try and continuously level your character using the public crafting system. There's not much here all the time. So you're going to then have to hope that you can sell something through 
the NetSell, but craft something through the patron system so you can get points. Like some of these missives, I might still be able to get points. I haven't learned tailoring, tailoring yet, tailoring yet to uh, create this, and I don't know if this is even uh, out yet. But there is a lot of stuff I can still do. From here, uh, in order to make obviously the most money, you need to get your concentration as low as possible for your crafts. So obviously that means gaining knowledge uh, so that you can spec into your different things, reducing your costs and like uh, disenchanting, milling, uh, whatever that is for you to lower your cost of production. And now it, it is just playing that game. And so uh, from here, it's getting really to 100 because you're going to get a lot more points uh, towards your skill set so that you can lower your, um, your, I guess, what is this? You increase your quality. Also, you're going to want to replace these uh, to a higher tier. I would say when you're first starting out, you probably just want to get the lowest tier possible. Don't spend a lot of money because it's gonna cost you a lot of money in uh, reagents. But when later on, putting it together, looking for a recraft, that's where I would say you want to then uh, look for someone and tip a higher amount. Uh, but that's only when you're gonna want to get uh, kind of really max, min maxing because the difference is probably only 50% increase in your secondary stats while your skill all stays the same. Like So I think this is, it goes up to 18, uh, 11 11 so it doesn't matter if it's tier 1 or tier 5 uh, that all stays the same but it really just depends on the, the multi-craft that sort of thing that's where it's gonna come down to it so that's it guys uh, let me know what you think of this content I uh, hope this was helpful I'll be probably going deeper on this uh, and how I'm going to be cornering one particular market. But that's it, guys. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe. I am going to be adding uh, more of a, uh, what is it called? A profession. I can't think of the, uh, the name. Where you cycle through all your professions. Uh, and they all do certain things for you to keep your cost of production down. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But until next time, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.